Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere! Boost! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm YouTube! I think my fan flipping skills are better in Las Vegas. Famous Now! Available in 2021, the album, Dad. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, little thing, let me light your candle, because I'm mama. <laughs> Listen to my voice this morning. I'm who? <laughs> sure hard to handle now. Yes, I am. Rock on, gold dust. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, Peter and Alex. Hi, how are you doing today? Today is me and my husband's 10 year wedding anniversary and we have been together 13 years as of today. <laughs> today, 13 years ago, was our very, very, very first date and we got married 10 years ago at 6.30. So, it's been a long road, it's been a long road. And usually, um, we do a video on our anniversary and we had planned out this video for our anniversary. I put up a uh, question on Instagram. I have screenshot all the questions and we were gonna have it prepared to go up today and, well, <laughs> that just didn't happen. Listen, listen, we're having lots of fun in Las Vegas, okay? So we just haven't been able to fit into the time to just sit down and film that video. But that video is coming sometime this week. Now, you know how I am when I do videos with my husband, <laughs> okay? I get very, very embarrassed. Uh, my husband has a very raw sense of humor and people have asked that I not edit him out. <laughs> well, I don't ever go in really and edit, but I'm like, Alex, Alex, don't say this. So, we will let my husband say whatever he wants to say on the Q&A, and I'm a little nervous about that. But anyway, that will be coming um, sometime up later this week. Before then, I wanted to film a video. We're getting ready to go down to the pool, so I was like, I'm gonna film a video now, and then I will have it up and ready for later, and um, we've got all kinds of things planned for today. We're actually, I'm really excited about this. So I have gained so much weight <laughs> since our wedding that our um, engagement and, no I'm not flipping you off, our engagement ring and wedding band do not fit my finger anymore. And I haven't wanted to size it because I'm like, well if I lose weight and I go on this great health journey that I've been talking about for years, then I don't want my ring, and one of our rings that if we size, if I like size it so that it'll fit me, um, it, they can't like change it back if that makes sense. So today we are getting new wedding bands and then we are also um, going to a very special dinner tonight so I'm really excited about all that so anyway happy anniversary to me and my husband on our nuptials all right all right um now let me tell you what happened I had a couple other videos that I was possibly gonna make for drama more Trisha Paytas more Gabby Hanna Gabby Hanna and the Keem Star podcast came out today I will be listening to that at some point I don't know if I'll listen to it today by the pool I don't know but I won't probably be making a video about that if I do listen to it today and I make a video about it the video will probably be tomorrow so anyway um but I have to tell you I was over on Shane Dawson's now this is gonna be a Shane Dawson merch uh, video, but this is not just like the same old one where I share like the current thing. I want to talk about the history kind of of this merch because I have to tell you, yesterday when I saw this, I was like, okay, um, I always give Shane Dawson a really hard time on his merch sales that he has. Um, but Peter, go in and really look at the receipts that you have from the past and see if there's any validity to like what you say about Shane Dawson saying that he's always like so embarrassed of like pushing his merch and he doesn't want to push his merch and there's no pressure to push his merch. But in actuality, he is completely entirely pushing his merch, right? So I was like, is there any validity to that story? And I have to tell you, I was blown away by what I found. So I want to talk about that. Um, but what I saw first was on Shane, and this is how it all started, okay? Because this is, it's such a pattern for me. And the reason why I think this is important is that it's a salesman's tactic, okay? And 
I think a lot of people stand behind this kind of moment in the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson series when Shane Dawson felt his own worth, so to speak, because Jeffree Star was like, nobody's ever, you know, no merch company before has ever made you feel like your own, like how much you're worth, your own value and things like that, right? This is the moment that we were supposedly going to see Shane Dawson crying on the bathroom floor, but we never saw that. Remember, he talked about that, but we never saw that. So, um... That was the moment that a lot of, like, fans and stands stand behind, is that this moment that Shane Dawson, like, realized his, you know, w like, how much his hard work has really meant through the years, and at how much he really realized that, you know, he is worth monetarily, okay? Which, to me, is kind of a sad sentiment, honestly, to say, like, oh, well, I never really realized I was worth all these other people's hundreds and thousands of dollars and millions of dollars to continue to push merch. Like, I'm worth that. Like, right? Like, I think that is a sad sentiment, and this is just my personal opinion. And like I said in my video yesterday, listen, y'all, okay? I'm coming with my opinions. And if you don't like it, that's okay, okay? Um, and if you're a Shane super fan, hey, we can have a difference of opinion. Just hear me out, right? I think that's a sad sentiment when you say that your value and worth is based in other people paying you for hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts and slimes okay i just think that's a sad sentiment for me i have always based my character who i am the things i have done based on my personal achievements in life and i really look at those things like as far as like you know my education my sobriety relationships that i have had long lasting in my life not just my marriage but also like my best friend and other friends those are the merits in my life of which i base my value and my worth on, okay? Not how much merch I can push on somebody. That is such a salesman's tactic of which he learned from Jeffree Star. And I'm going to prove that because Jeffree Star does the exact same thing that Shane Dawson does. So if he is learning this or being told to do this from somebody or taught to do this from somebody, it is coming straight from the king himself, Jeffree Star. So I was over on Shane Dawson's Instagram story looking at it and he posted this picture here here I'll show it to you right here and it says morning okay and then he said of course I was going to zoom in on the new squad members which are these like two little ducks right and already before I have gotten past the second picture I'm like he's going to push March I'm like this is Shane Dawson being relatable Shane Dawson hardly ever posts on his Instagram story unless it is to push March okay and he always says of course no pressure because that's his little shtick now and that's his joke that he's made, okay? It's a joke for Shane Dawson. I think that you guys really, like, have to understand Shane Dawson at his core of who he is. Like, if, if you look at all of the videos, the collabs, the documentary series, okay? You guys grant Shane Dawson this idea that he is like this genius level man that is so super smart. And I, and I saw it that one way as, as well, right? Well, if that's the case, that he is not this like overly sensitive person when it comes to merch, okay? Like that is not, like that does not align if you're talking about like profiling somebody, like you know like criminal profiling that you do, like when you read like the true crime books and stuff like that, that does not fit the same personality type, okay? Somebody that is like in control saying, hey, we're gonna do this and we're gonna go here and we're gonna film this and we're gonna film that, okay? The same person that is standing, screaming and shouting at Tati Westbrook on a, on a video screen, okay? because she's a liar and that's but whatever okay that is not the same person that at three o'clock in the morning would be like hey you guys like you don't have to buy my slimes but if you want to buy my slimes you can buy my slimes no pressure no pressure okay that does not align that is a character and that is a character to sell merch that is a character to sell merch because shane dawson wants your money period. That's what that's about, okay? Not because he's excited about slimes, not because he's excited about this merch, not because of all this, okay? The excitement of merch and slimes would have died six months ago for anybody, okay, that was selling it. True story, right? So, I'm looking in here. Hold on a second. I got out of my space. And um, at Shane Dawson's Instagram story, and I'm like, here we go again, because he hardly ever posts anything. So, this is Shane Dawson being relatable before I'm going to sell you something, Okay. And so he, sh he shows those two things. Then he said, and I'm moving back to LA. And he shows the spider, right? Because now they're in Colorado. Kidding, but uh, kind of. But seriously, what the F is that? It's like four inches long. And then he says, puts this question, anyone know anything about white spiders? And then, oh, there it is. Okay, and then there it is. Mystery backpack available now. 
Mystery backpack. Who thinks up this stuff, okay? Mystery boxes, mystery t-shirts, mystery hoodies, and now mystery backpacks. And this is really mystery let me sell you anything that uh, I can't sell on my own, okay? And I was actually going back when I was like looking through my receipts. I'm not going to throw up these, but I will sh throw up some in a second. I was looking back at the merch that he had six months ago versus today. And there's a lot of merch that is sold out, right? Like there's a lot of merch that he used to have on his merch shop that he doesn't have anymore. And I was like, this is really interesting. So like what he does is he goes in, I mean, it's a smart tactic from a salesman point of view, right? But he goes in and he pushes the one thing that he isn't selling. And if you go over there and look, the backpacks have not been selling. They've been the one consistent thing for a while, right? <gasps> mystery backpack okay so then it says on here if you go underneath here it says mystery backpack available now $212 value for only $99 okay each mystery backpack contains six additional items and then it says swipe up right okay so I go in there, um, and then he's got this funny little picture afterwards that's like, uh, hold on, does anybody remember this guy? It's like, you have to continue to stay, you know, relatable. So I go in there to his merch shop because I was like trying to add up how much all this would say be, right? Okay, first of all, I just want to say, when you go underneath here to buy it, okay, it says this is a pre-order item that is scheduled to ship by September 13th, 2021. Shane Dawson is offering limited edition mystery backpacks, okay? Well, they're backpacks that he already has existing on his website. So how are they limited edition, okay? They're limited edition mystery backpacks because we're going to shove as much crap as we can in each one to get rid of it. Shane Dawson is offering limited edition mystery backpacks. This is a true mystery backpack, meaning there is no choice of what comes in them. Due to the extreme uh, discount on these products, there is no returns or exchanges. Each mystery backpack contains six additional items. Please select your sizing and backpack color. Okay, now here's what's interesting when you go in here, right? Is that I looked at the, the merch shop. He has the mystery backpacks for $99. Then he has all these tees. The limited edition tees that he just came out with like less than a month ago. We're going to talk about that. Are 20, all of his t-shirts are $25, right? Okay. Then he has this hoodie, $45. Another hoodie, $45. Uh, the slimes are $12, okay? Mystery tee, you can still get for $8. Um, two more hoodies for 40, three more hoodies for $44, $45. Uh, a robe for $55, the tumblers for $25, okay? The the backpacks are $80, and the um, handbag is $65, and then the a snout wallet is $25. So there's not a lot of stuff left over to give out. So I have to believe it's going to be like two t-shirts and like a snout thing and then like the backpack. I mean, I don't know how he's going to mix this up, but this is again him just trying to get rid of all of this merch because he has all this excess merch. I really believe, I really truly believe that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson were so arrogant at the time to believe that they were going to sell so, I mean, they never expected what happened to happen, right? As far as the drama, that they would become the drama. Um, I think that they have just this mass amount of merch that they cannot get rid of and so they're constantly having these sales, okay? So I was like, well, this is interesting. Now we've got mystery backpacks, okay? I mean, it's almost laughable at this, the next point. What's the next one? Uh, mystery sock, and you're gonna shove as much crap in a mystery sock as you can? I mean, like, what the, is mystery tumbler? What is it? One of two, because one's blue and one's clear, you know? It's like, I mean, it's so ridiculous at this point. And people go on there and they continue to buy this stuff. You're buying something because of the mystery factor when literally you're going to be getting the same stuff that you got in a mystery box or all the other mystery things that are out there. Okay, so still trying to give Shane Dawson the benefit of the doubt, right? I go in here and I go back and I start looking to see, hold on a second, when this all started. And I'm just going to start from 2021, okay? I'm not going to go past any of that, right? But I go back and my screenshot from January 8th, okay, is Shane Dawson and he is, um, hold on a second, he is having a sale, okay, on his website and he says, also, no pressure to get anything at all ever, but there's a beginning of the year sale on my shop and everything is 21% off, okay, and here you go, it's right there. And that is on January 8th, okay? Everything is 21% off for, you know, 2021, right? That's January 8th. 
January 13th, okay, Shane Dawson Merch Store. Last day to save, 21% on the entire store. Those emails were sent out, okay? Uh, hold on a second. Next one, February 11th. We're not even a, a month out yet, okay? 40% off the entire site, okay? 210 to 214 um, for 40 percent off the entire site. Now you have to remember, okay, this is where for me it becomes it comes becomes scammy, right? Is that if you have a slime, okay, that is twelve dollars and then it's forty percent off, that is now you've marked that sale down, right? Okay, so then to mark it back up and then two weeks later put it in a twenty five percent off sale. Oh, Shane Dawson would never do that? Hold on a second, okay? This is on February 11th, the 40% off sale. The next sale, okay, is on March 8th, okay? So, less than a month later, when you could have bought a hoodie or a t-shirt on sale for 40% off, you now can get the spring special, special mystery tea and mystery hoodie, okay? Which the mystery tea is $8. So, you know, I mean... <laughs> Hold on a second. 25 times, okay, 40% is $10. Uh, it's now cheaper than what you could have got before. It's just like, it's unbelievable how this continues just like these sales and these sales and these sales and these sales and these sales they have. Okay, so that is now March 8th. So once a month now on the Shane Dawson website, we have had some massive sale, okay? Some massive, massive sale. So hold on, where are we at? We've got January 8th. We've got, hold on a second. February 11th, and now we're at March 8th, okay? And that is a pre-order. This is a pre-order uh, item that will begin shipping no later than uh, May 8th, 2021. These are all, all these mystery things are pre-orders. Okay, so what was that now again? That was, oh, hold on a second. That was March 8th. Okay, now we're on April 28th, okay? And this is another mystery item, and I don't have which one that was, but I just have a screenshot of that. So, uh, oh, this is the mystery boxes. This is the mystery boxes, excuse me. This is round one of the mystery boxes. That's April April 28th, okay? So we now got January, February, March, April is the mystery boxes. Before that, you have to remember in March, we had the mystery sweatshirt and the mystery tee. Okay, here's the mystery sweatshirt, mystery tee. And now here's the announcement for the mystery box. Do y'all don't see that this is laughable? Y'all, there's, I don't, there's no validity to this whatsoever to me that there's like, there he's having mystery boxes and sales and mystery. Any other YouTuber influencer out there that had this many mystery boxes, Jaclyn Hill had one round of mystery boxes that she didn't have enough mystery boxes for. And she was literally just killed for it, right? But Shane Dawson is having mystery boxes after mystery boxes after 40% off sales after free slime sales, which I didn't even have a receipt for that, okay? The free slimes that he was giving away with stuff, okay? Now we got mystery backpacks and stuff. It's ridiculous. It's, it's laughable. Shane Dawson only cares about one thing, and that is your money, period, end of story, Okay? So then it goes on, and now we are after the mystery boxes. That was April 28th. Now we're at May 21st, okay? Treat yourself to 25% off the entire store. Here we are, right here, okay? 25% off the entire store. Enjoy 25% off the entire store for a limited time only, okay? That is um, May 21st. Here you go, okay? Then you go on, and wait a second, okay. Um, now we're at May 22nd, okay? And here are the mystery boxes again, okay? Talking about the mystery boxes. And hold on a second, date. Now, June 4th um, are the mystery boxes that are available, okay? So he's still pushing these mystery boxes because the mystery boxes, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, no, no, no. These are the mystery boxes round two, okay? It's on June 4th. I can't keep up with this. I can't keep up with the total sales. So now, June, because he was so excited, he was so excited that he sold out of the mystery boxes. This is one huge liquidation sale is what it is, okay? So June 2nd, he is now selling mystery boxes. We are having either a sale or a mystery box sale of some kind, literally every month on the dot, okay? Every month on the dot. There is either a massive 40% off, 25% off, 21% off sale, and what it seems to be go that is happening is that it's going back and forth, okay? If you look, it seems like it is mystery, sale, mystery, sale. So now that we have mystery backpacks, September will be another sale, okay? If I had to speculate. 
I'm not a psychic, but if I was, I would, I would say that. Okay, so we got mystery boxes number two. That's June, okay? Now here it is, July 23rd. 50% off the entire store. Well, now, how can you offer 50% off the entire store when you just sold mystery boxes, okay, for $125 that you said contained seven items and was $225 value? So, less than a month before, you gave away $225 worth of items in a $125 mystery box that you claimed was valued at $225. But then a month later, the exact same people that bought those said items in that mystery box can come to your store and buy things for 50% off, okay? So no, it's not exclusive. The only thing that's exclusive about it is these people have no idea what they're getting when they're buying it because you guys are just shoving a bunch of crap in a box and calling it a mystery box to give it away because you can't get rid of these products. And it's so sad because, I, and, and whatever, if people want to spend their money on it, but there are a lot of people out there that are spending their hard-earned money on this stuff, and Shane Dawson does not seem to care, okay? This is such a sales tactic. If you do not see, after what I have shown, that each month of this pattern is a sales tactic, if you don't see it and how Shane Dawson is just doing this to drive the money, Shane Dawson is probably at this point of the Tana Mojo selling, you know, phone cases and uh, the Jake Pauls and all these people that are constantly selling merch, Shane Dawson, it, for somebody that claimed, I do not like to push merch, I do not like to talk about this stuff, I'm just really excited about it, no pressure. For some, if you do not see the manipulation in that, that Shane Dawson is one of the biggest merch pushers out there, like, I don't understand how you don't see that at this point, okay? And, and why I think that this is ridiculous. So here we go, okay. Hold on, June, what is it? June 4th, we got mystery boxes number two. And then July 23rd, we have the 50% off the entire store sale, okay? And um, also, the slimes are $6, <laughs> okay, it says on there. So there's that, and then, that was then, and um, he, so then August 10th, okay, he puts up this thing. Let, okay, July 23rd, 50% off. August 10th, we're like, what is that, like two and a half weeks later? Everything else in the store is 25% off. So three weeks later, after everything is 50% off for a limited time, now everything is 25% off. You literally cannot get rid of this crap. You literally can't. And you think that your followers are so dumb that they're going to buy every single one of these sales and mystery boxes and they're going to really believe in it. Like, it's sad. It's really, really sad for the consumer, okay? And from day one of me doing drama on my drama channels, when I was just exclusively doing beauty guru drama, that was what people wanted to hear. They wanted to hear, how is the consumer being taken? But if I ever criticize whatsoever, if I see a pattern of just anything that's screwed up with all of this about Shane Dawson, Shane Dawson's super fans get very, very upset about it. Um, I think I'm being very, very fair in sharing this all with you. We're now at the point where we're having two sales a month, okay? Hold on a second. July 23rd, August 10th, okay? And now here we are, and it is, um, hold on a second. What is today? It is August, <laughs> well, it's today is when I screenshot this, so last night. So we've got July 23rd, August 10th, and August 24th, within three weeks, with, with three, uh, within one whole month, he has had three massive, two, uh, two massive sales in a mystery backpack giveaway, okay? Like, it's ridiculous at this point. I'm like, this is so laughable. Like, Shane Dawson, like, I understand that you want to sell your merch, okay? I understand there's no pressure. I understand that you should get excited and that, you know, all that kind of stuff because it's merch and whatever. I don't really believe it. I don't see that you really care about putting videos out there anymore and all that kind of stuff, which is also something that I think is rather interesting that you're having all of these countless amounts of sales and coming out with new products when you're literally not even active on YouTube. I mean, the... It's like a, if a rock star, I mean, literally think about this for a second, okay? I'm trying to think of some retired rock star. It'd be like if a retired rock star was not touring anymore and they had tour merch. I mean, for what? 
Well, I mean, mer that's what merch is, but you're not active anymore. What are you active as a co-star in Ryland's vlogs? I don't know. So I don't know why you're coming out with new merch for the fans that will continue to put money in your pocket to give you the lifestyle that you have. I think that's really what it's about, right? Okay, that's fine. You know, I'm not going to say that it's a cash grab, which it is. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, it's whatever. Do whatever you want. But I think at the same time, like, can we just at least acknowledge how this is just maybe a little bit, a, a slightest bit manipulative of his audience? Because he always puts in there no pressure and I don't like to push this stuff and I just wanted you guys to know in case you like a sale I'm having a sale hey Shane Dawson in case you like to have a sale you have had a sale every month this entire year and you still can't get rid of your merch yet people say that you're super relevant and that people are dying to get your products oh and you also said in one of these mystery boxes that you sold out how did you sell out of products in your mystery boxes if if less than a month later they were on sale for 50 percent off i'm confused by that can somebody explain to that to me how the exact same products that were given away in two different mystery boxes that supposedly sold out were on sale for 50 percent off less than a month later the same products that were in the mystery boxes Okay, my battery died. But I was just getting ready to get into the Jeffree Star stuff anyway. So I was sitting here and I was looking at all this stuff and I was like, you know what, this is interesting to me. And this really, really reminds me of Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is the owner of Killer Merch. Killer Merch is the merch shop of which Shane Dawson goes through, right? Okay, so I go in here to look at these emails. I thought this would be the easiest way because I know I don't have everything screenshot from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I have purchased from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the past when I used to do giveaways. So I thought, okay, this will be the easiest way, right? So I go in here and I start looking at the emails that I've received. 1125, huge black side, uh, black uh, Friday savings, okay? Um, and then 1127, iconic black Friday savings, all right? 1128, these are all the emails that are sent out a day apart. Extended Black Friday savings, okay? Um, 1130, Cyber Monday savings start now. 1211, two weeks later, mystery boxes are back plus December savings, okay? 1219, this is a week later, right? Exclusive bonus day of savings, 40% off. And then, uh, goes into, hold on a second, 117, final hours, buy one pallet, get one free, okay? Um, and then Valentine's Day, 213, 21, use your lips this Valentine's Day, get 25% off select lip products now through Monday, okay? And 214, a day later, 24 hours left to save, 25% off, okay? And then it goes on and on and on. Um, 36, okay, like two weeks after that, 50% off for 24 hours, all right? And then it goes on, there's a bunch more, and then it talks about the summer mystery boxes and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just like, this is such a business plan. Like, and that's fine, but could you just be more transparent about it? Like, I almost don't really have such an issue with it with Jeffree Star because Jeffree Star is like a business, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, right? And like, while I'm, I'm not, like it's whatever, a lot of businesses do have sales. So then if we're gonna look at it that way, then I think that we have to look at Shane Dawson, to be fair, okay? And Shane Dawson selling merch as his business. So Shane Dawson, who once said, I don't like to push merch. I'm very uncomfortable pushing merch. Merch is now his business. If that's the case, that's fine. But be transparent about that, right? Don't manipulate the emotions of your audience to say, I just want you guys to know that I'm really excited about these mystery slimes. You don't have to buy them. No pressure. You don't have to buy them, okay? To me, that is an act that shows that he has not changed, okay? What happened to the person that was so humble that didn't want to push merch, but now I have shown pushes merch at least, at least once a month, okay? Jeffree Star does the exact same thing. Who do you think he learned it from? Okay, this is a business model that is pushed by killer merch that we're going to do. Sale upon sale upon sale. We're going to just push and push and push and push and push and push and push. And these people won't know what's coming at them. Oh my God, 50% off. Oh my God, a mystery box. I have to have a mystery box. Oh my God, 40% off for two days? If I miss out on two days, I might got to get that tumbler that I want. And I mean, the tumbler is only $10 anyway, so I should probably get it because then it's only $5, right? Oh my God, and then there's mystery backpacks now. But what if I get a tumbler? And then you watch these people open these packages. And it's sad because what you see is these people open these packages and they say, well, I mean, I've got three of these palettes already. Well, I've already got, I really wanted a pig hoodie, but I mean, I guess I can take my fifth, you know, pig tumbler. It's sad 
because he's only getting rid of and liquidating the uh, merchandise that he doesn't want anymore or he can't get rid of. The high quality stuff like the robes, he's not getting rid of that. So he's not pushing that stuff. No, you know, and it's just like the limited edition t-shirts that just came out, the limited edition t-shirts. I don't know, it just makes me really sad for the audience, you know, but I mean, I guess people are grown adults and they can buy what they want, right? So anyway, I'm just here to show it all. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go enjoy the pool now. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.